Hi guys, this is going to be another one of Grandad's Junk Pile projects. Had a comment from Bill Maynard on my simple water jet RC boat. He was wondering whether we'd get more power from the water jet with it underwater or above water. So that got me thinking whether I could do a little test to see what boats I'd got that I could do it with and in my junk pile I've got this hull that I've used on quite a few of my projects it's got a nice waterproof box on it that I can put the radio control gear in so I'm going to use that and then yeah, I've got a water pump there that's got nice plastic tubes on it. I should be able to mount on the back of that boat. Uh, that one's the input tube, so that can go down underneath and hang in the water. That one's the output pipe. So I should be able to arrange for that to be on a, a pivot so we can point it left or right to steer the boat or straight back to push it forwards. And if I make the pipe long enough I should also be able to push it down underwater and do the same thing so we can see what the difference is. So this box has already got a, a servo on the side of it that I can use to steer it with to actually direct the jet. So that's what I'll do. I'll see if I can put that together. So rig up some sort of pivot on the back here to pivot the jet. And that'll be our test to see whether it works better underwater or above water. I've glued a couple of popsicle sticks across the back of the boat and put two plastic tubes in the middle of them to act as the hinges for the steering. I've got a bit of wire through them at the moment just to hold them straight. We've got another popsicle stick here and those two bits of plastic tubing that I've just glued to it are the right size for the flexible plastic tubing from the back of the pump to go through so we can Put it through the bottom one and that will be underwater or we can move it to the top one and that will be out of the water. So this is my rudder and water jet um, thing. <laughs> that will be the hinges so these two bent bits of wire will go down through them but I can't do that with one hand. But They'll sit about there somewhere. So one's well below the water line and the other one's above it and we should be able to steer using it and move the pipe from the bottom one to the top one to get some sort of comparison. Well that's more or less up together. I've got a servo tester in there at the moment so I can just check the steering. be able to take the tube out of there and stick it in there so we can test it above the water or below the water. So now we need to find some water to test it in. I don't know whether it's even worth putting water in the bath We won't get much of a test in there. I might just do that so we can see whether it actually works. And then we'll have to find somewhere else to give it a bit of a proper test. To see if we get, get any comparison in the speed and manoeuvrability. We're in the bath. The outlet is above the water at the moment.
have steering. Obviously we've got no reverse. So I'll just shove that pipe in the bottom hole now. anything I'd say it was more efficient out of the water. I'll just swap it over again. have to do till we can go and test it on a pond or a puddle or something. Just a quick close-up again. So we've got a servo in the front uh, in the front section here in the plastic box. That's the push rod. There's a little guide just there to hold it in place. This is our steering mechanism which is just two plastic tubes and we can swap the water jet so it goes above the water or below the water. And certainly in that little test there it looked like we got a better thrust and faster performance shooting the jet out above the water than below it. But I think we'll have to test it in a pond to see if we can get a better idea. I can't really tell whether it's steering very well. Again, it looked to me like it was doing better with the jet out of the water than it was in the water.